throws. Daniel Taylor there in the blue with one.
down the line. Stay active. You let the pressure here feed you this takedown attack. Well done by Trevor Smith. And again, and Joe Junkie as a kid, that'll make him feel less old. Opening up with elbows here. Smith in search of a fourth UFC win. Fighting an undefeated fighter. And largely dominating him horn to horn. So Trevor Smith back for the first time in more than a year. And with big elbows here, making up the lost time in Salt Lake City. All three judges scored in this contest. 30, 26 for the winner. By unanimous decision, Trevor Hudson Smith. Focusing more on speed and quickness is not as much as power. Oh, and he eats a massive head kick there. Talk about how he continually circled to his left. Oh, and another left hand followed by a right for Pontanibio. Cummings chin is held up, but he might be a little bit wobbly on his feet here. He's blinking pretty hard. That's the case when the guy's trying to clear the cobwebs upstairs. Cummings seemingly has recovered from that early flurry from Pontanibio. Outstanding. Puts pressure on the head, gets the bottom leg free. And he's fainting a lot more this round, which is excellent. He eats two left hands there, though. Especially if he continues to circle to his left and they run into another one of those high kicks. Nice right hand up from Ponsonibio, showing off his quick punch. Another nice combination. The hands get up is outstanding. Ponsonibio is, is continually blocking it. I'll tell you what, those body kicks, doesn't matter when you block it, you just get your elbow shoved into your gut.
striking is there. He knows his takedowns are set up with it, but he knows he can knock Chris out. This is exactly where Chris doesn't want to be, in the clinch with Leites. Second move from Rogliata. Davis staying busy enough as he gets Kamozi down here. And Kamozi's got to get two-on-one wrist control, but his right hand is now trapped. He's going to defend the choke, but he can't use it. Now it's free. So the head kick there for the Chris Kamozi came in with 182 landed, second all time in the middleweight division. I gotta imagine though, against a takedown artist like Lewis, you gotta be careful with those. Well, and here's the key, that's why he should have been moving his feet. Right? Instead of a Dars choke, he's got his hands in the right place, abandons it. They look to try and get it deeper here. Instead, choose to take the back. This is great for Kamozi if he can try to escape as he just gets dragged back down the floor. Driving nothing doing here as we go down the stretch in round two. It's, it's tough. You're, you're in another guy's world who spent his entire life doing this. Not to mention you're trying to block punches, you're trying to fight out hooks, you're trying to stand back up and get wrist control. Back All of the head. things going through your head at once. Montoya not mincing words in the corner. Chris Kamosi said we need a finish here. Kamosi getting right after it landing. Comes out swinging. He's got to be careful because you know Leeds is going to want to jump on her, try and grab that leg. Kamosi should have banned it. Push off the advantage. Get out of it, and he does. And a good end of the body here. So good start to the round for Kamosi. And cover knees behind this jab and uppercut because you know Leeds is going to be. Just that beautiful timing from Leites. Hooks the leg and gets him down. Well, takedown attempts already for Leites. He secured three of them. Less than four minutes to go in this one. And the real key, you know, the 12 of those takedowns, he has not, it sounds like a lot of energy expended, but he has it. Very yeah. economical. And the ones he's landed, he's landed pretty easy. And he has stayed busy enough and, and had enough dominant positions to prevent stand-ups from the referee. And Kamozi's doing a good job of fighting the wrists and holding hands, but he hasn't done a good job controlling the hooks as Leitis gets back to the body lock again. High level, outstanding technique. Kamozi might be in some trouble here. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu ground belt Kamozi. Oh, this is tough. There's yep. the tap. Thomas Leitis by submission. All right, Chris. Worked hard for the finish and gets yet another one inside the octagon. At two minutes, 58 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Talos Leitas! He's doing well with it till Steven's tied him with a beautiful flying knee. Great leg kick there for the units. Another combination that's great in his first take on the Really smart execution there from Bermuda's. Climb across the fence. Now he may be able to try and lock up the triangle. Bermuda's smartly posturing up. And there you get a look at just how quickly Hani Jason can fire his submission attempts. Got, this is not good for him. Again, now he's got to posture up. Got his left wrist trapped. Hani Jason will get his right leg around his shoulder. Bermuda's staying active on top and landing strikes. Ooh, Jason didn't mind the takedown from Bermuda, but he's about to start using the submission attempts. And if he throws his base, get back to his feet. Because he's going to have look at that. Sliced him up. Perfectly placed elbow from Bermuda. As opens Jason up. Don't hook the foot. See, he's staying heavy with his head against the fence Don't to hook make it. sure that the right leg of Jason can't wrap around his head and go for an armbar attack or a sweep. Jason bleeding something fierce here. Bermuda's doing a great job of staying and also allowing the to posture up ever so slightly and stay out of any submission attempts. 20 ground strikes landed already for Dennis Bermudez. Excellent pace at the top. Bermudez continuing to apply pressure here. Oh, 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 oh,
Jason to get up earlier in the round. You'd be in a grade school and a bully would say, look, I'm gonna rearrange your face. This is what they're talking about yeah. right here. Bermudez <laughs> slicing Jason off. Off your head! Off your head, we put! Honey, Jason primarily looking for submission attempts. Now he's got to start to get his feet in the hips and push away, create some space, and get back to his feet. Oh, Dennis Bermudez over the first five minutes. We'll see if... Chase is going to attempt the guillotine. And Bermudez jerked the leg down and popped his head out at the same time. It happened fast. He did sit at home. Everything Bermudez does is heavy. The left hook. Like he's not to get out of the floor. Chase with the body shot there. Easy throws in on that single leg. Takes him right back down. Beautiful integration of his skills there. Bermudez transitions so quickly. The fights he loses are the fights where he gets caught. He gets robbed. He gets finished. Beautiful. Jason. The level change there, just too much power. And the reason he's 100% tonight is just he mixes it so well. Right there, goes from striking into the single leg. We'll see if he abandons it, goes back to striking, but he doesn't stop. Look as he works his take on top. Lift, push down, lift. Now abandons and immediately throws him right back. Well done. Takes a deep, deep breath. Puts the hands on the hips, eats a right hand, and now he's taken down. Dennis Bermudez putting on a clinic tonight. Ooh. Nice timing on the flying knee. Bermudez eats it easy. And did a nice job, did Bermudez, to keep those hands up. Large edge for the menace, no surprise. Bad shot attempt. Jason looking to potentially set up a guillotine here. Let's see what adjustment Bermudez makes. But this is the best opportunity for Honey Jason. He can spin and take the back here. Looks like he's gonna lose it. That was really the only bad shot in this fight for Bermudez. Everything else is so well integrated. He eats a nice counter left hook there from Jason. Shit held up for Bermudez. Choosing to stand and strike with him. He's eating a couple shots here. Done well himself, though, but not going to be surprised here if he chooses to put him back down on the floor. A beautiful switch from Jason. Catches Bermuda sleeping. And now it's Honey Jason on top in the mouth. Bermuda is right in front of his corner, under two minutes to go. Jason trying to get under the chair. Bermuda surviving for now. Watch what's happening up here. Bermuda's up on one knee here. We'll see if he can reverse. Under 90 seconds now to go. Bermuda's not out of danger just yet. Excellent work from Bermuda. Just wanted it a little bit more. Both guys knew what was coming. And another nice elbow there from Dennis Bermudez. Not able to get out of that one as we go under a minute to go now in the co-main event. And that was really the key in his last fight against Tessio Kawajiri. I mean, a guy who's very difficult to fight on the ground. But Bermudez is able to outscramble him in key moments in the fight. And he does so there. And a cut due to an elbow. Thirty seconds to go now. Dennis Bermuda is looking to put the finishing touches on what has largely been a dominant performance against Honey Jason. He has been so tough when he gets on top. It's an excellent job staying busy for the rest of the stand the fight up and able to get some really good power in his ground and pound in tight position. Bermudez and Hani Jason go the distance.
The judge has scored the contest. 30-27, 30-26, and 30-27 for the winner. By unanimous decision, Dennis the Madness from the
Caceres. American crowd here getting behind Caceres. He's staying nice and heavy on those legs. And Rodriguez, who is a very active ball. Only 30 seconds now to go here in our third round. Elbow for Caceres.